Hey everybody, um, this is our second vlog for um, Clark Twin Boys Pregnancy and um, I have not done a vlog since, oh about two weeks ago, but I wanted to get on here and update everybody um, real quick because I am honestly going through a lot. So first I want to say Everything I'm about to say, I get that somebody out there in the world has a story. I get it. I understand it. I respect it. Their story is not my story. Their story has nothing to do with me, okay? I don't want any negativity. This is all positive vibes because I need it. Um, I mean, that's, that's where I am. I am putting all my faith in God, so... Whoever has a similar story and whatever outcome they had, their faith was not my faith. So that's where I'm going to start. Um, I do want to address my voice. I lost my voice before Christmas, and it has not come back. I get that I sound rough, but I feel great other than what I have going on um, with our pregnancy. John should be coming back in here in a minute. But I am... Sorry, I thought I heard something. I am... 18 weeks and a day pregnant. Um, it's January the 5th, 2022. Happy New Year. I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes a week ago. So I am having to prick my finger four times a day and keep track of my blood sugar, which is not any fun. But I was told that it's totally expected with twins or multiples. So I'm just, you know, going with it. Um, and taking care of myself the best I can. Uh, two weeks ago, so after I did my first vlog, I went to the doctor and found out that baby A was not growing the way they want him to. So instead of going to the doctor every two weeks, I now have to go to the doctor every week so they can watch baby A. Um, so we went to the doctor last week, and it was not a measurement week, but they said that everything was looking better than it did the week before. We went back yesterday, and I was told that baby A is still not growing the way they want him to. So I'm 18 weeks in a day. Baby A is measuring at 16 weeks in three days. So it's stressful. I was told that I have um, intrauterine restrictive growth syndrome. And yesterday I was told that there's three levels to that. Level one being semi-normal, and they would expect the baby to catch up. Level two being... Um, like so-so, but not as worrisome. Level three being the blood flow from the umbilical cord to the placenta is not where they want it to be um, and could be causing the baby to not grow. So I was told yesterday by my maternal fetal medicine specialist that there is nothing that they can do for me in Greenville, and he wanted to send me to Cincinnati. I got a phone call yesterday afternoon that they wanted to see me in Cincinnati on Thursday of this week. So we left today and we are in Cincinnati, Ohio right now. We just got here. Um, I had to, we had to drop because they didn't want me flying. So it has been a long last 48 hours. It's been a whirlwind. I haven't had time to process, um, but we see a team of specialists here in Cincinnati, Ohio tomorrow for several tests. Um, and they're going to do one of two things. They're either going to do surgery to try and save baby A and baby B, and separate their blood vessels, um, or they're going to send us home on medication for their hearts, and then we'll come back in a couple weeks for surgery in a couple weeks, is what I was told yesterday. Um, I'll have more information tomorrow, but the surgery either happens tomorrow or Friday, and we'll be in Cincinnati for a couple days. John, this year? Come here. I'm doing the vlog. Oh, okay. He's still in class. But, so that's the update that I have for y'all. Um, it's Wednesday. So when y'all see this, I would have either had the surgery or um, made my way back to South Carolina. But I will do an update sooner rather than later. I'll probably... Do another update on Saturday and post them both. But um, all prayers, strong healing prayers are welcome. 
Um, sorry it took me so long to update y'all. I've had several people reach out to me asking me where the next vlog was, but this is where we are. I've been trying to process and get my health together. I'm still in a lot of pain, but the doctor said it's to be expected with twins, so suck it up. Um, but that's where we are. I'll update you guys over the weekend. Um, thanks again, and I hope you guys are enjoying your, you enjoyed your holidays and getting back into the swing of things with work. Bye. You can't even see it. Is that the football field? Wow. It's right in the middle of the city. Where do they park? Yep, that's the field. The Cincinnati Beagles. Beagles. That's crazy. Hey everybody, we're here to update you all on our journey with our twin boy pregnancy. Um, I've had several people reach out to me asking me for an update. Um, and I've honestly just been trying to process over the last two weeks since the last vlog. But um, here we go. Two weeks ago, we were told that baby A is not growing the way they want him to. And instead of doing bi-weekly visits, we had to start doing weekly visits. And um, baby A... They diagnosed us with intrauterine restrictive growth syndrome. So uh, we seen the doctor last week. Last week I was also diagnosed with gestational diabetes, but we can talk about that another day. Um, our weekly visit this week to maternal fetal medicine was not easy. They told us that baby A was still not growing and that there was really nothing else they could do for us in Greenville, that they wanted to send us to a specialist in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, I received a phone call. What was it, Tuesday? Hmm. Yeah, Tuesday. So I received a phone Tuesday. call Tuesday from the team in Cincinnati that said they wanted to see us on Thursday. So we had to pack Wednesday and hit the road so we could be here Thursday morning to see um, several people. We had an ultrasound for about an hour and 45 minutes yesterday. Then we seen the nurse practitioner, social worker, and the nurse about some things. And then we seen the cardiologist for echocardiograms on the baby's hearts. So the good news that we were able to take away from yesterday is that both babies have strong hearts and um, the structure of their hearts look good. After that, we had a team meeting with several doctors and um, a few nurses in regards to what our plan would be. Um, we were told that three things, we were told before we got there that one of three things would happen. One, that they would go in and do a procedure to separate the blood vessels for baby A and baby B so that they could um, have a chance to grow on their own without mm -hmm. sharing the blood vessels from the placenta. Two, they would send us home with heart medication for the babies and bring us back in a few weeks for the surgery. And three, which I couldn't remember the other day, but was the recommendation for us, is that um, there's nothing that they can do to medically intervene right now because we don't have twin-to-twin -twin mm -hmm. transfusion syndrome and we don't have TAPS. So... We strictly have the intrauterine restrictive growth syndrome, and there's nothing they can do medically to intervene right now. They're just going to monitor us back in Greenville with ultrasounds two times a week, and they will, the babies will either remain the same or get worse. They are not expected to get any better, um, but we have already mentally decided that they're going to stay the same and or get better. We've decided that on our own because right. we know that we serve a God who is powerful and we know that we serve a God who delivers miracles every day. So yesterday was rough for me and uh, for John. Me as well, yeah. yeah, I was 
mentally in a low place yesterday, but we are prayer warriors together. We pray together. Um, my husband prays over me. I'm very grateful for that. We have family who have called. We've had several phone calls of family and friends calling and praying with us over the phone. Mm -hmm. um, we have had people rally behind us to financially make sure we were able to get to Cincinnati um, and have food and shelter and gas and stuff like that. And we have family taking care of Amari. So our support system has been hands down the best support system I've ever seen. I'm Absolutely. sorry. But um, we have been praying and being intentional about our prayers because we want baby A and baby B to be healthy. We want baby A and baby B to come home when they're born. So we are thankful for the doctors that took the time to see us yesterday. Um, and, you know, it's a waiting game at this point, but it's also a praying game. It's something that we have to be intentional about in our prayers. So we are asking for positive vibes. We're asking for prayers. We're asking for um, people to be intentional about the things that they're praying for because we need baby A to continue to grow. Mm -hmm. We need baby B to continue to grow. We need for these babies to continue to stay in my uterus until it's safe for them to come out. Right. Um, so we're seeing, like I said, the doctors twice a week when we get back home. It snowed here yesterday, so we have decided to leave tomorrow. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've decided to leave tomorrow just to be on the safe side because it snowed in it snowed in Ohio, it snowed in Kentucky, Kentucky it snowed in Tennessee, Tennessee North in North Carolina. Carolina. So the whole way uh, back yeah. um, down the mountains for us has snowed yesterday. So we're just trying to be on the safe side and wait until things have a chance to melt a little bit and temperatures go back up. Um, what you got, John? I mean, this whole experience has been a roller coaster, but I mean, I don't necessarily like the experience, but I'm glad I'm able to go through it with you. Yeah. We are able to go through it together. We are able to pray through it. I mean, that's what it's all about, being, being one, praying together. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that baby A and baby B will, you know, they're gonna be successful no matter what. And I strongly believe that. So keep praying. We really do appreciate all your prayers and everything you do for us. So we really do appreciate it. Thank you. We, um, I was telling John yesterday, this has been one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my entire life. Because at this point, they did tell us that if we have to come back to Cincinnati, it would be to separate right. the placenta mm -hmm. so that baby B can survive. And at that time, baby A would pass. So, like, mm -hmm. mentally, I have I was in a low place yesterday. It's been one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my entire life, y'all. Like, hard. But I know that God has a plan, and it's plans for us to prosper and not to fail. And I know that God has a plan for our babies. And at the end of the day, there's a story that is going to be told here. Mm -hmm. um, so, I know that with prayers and support that we will get through this. So... Um, we keep calling them baby A and baby B, but we have names. We have names. We're not telling y'all yet, but we not have at all. names. We have so. names for our sweet babies. But that's our update. And um, like I said, I'll probably do updates sooner than two weeks. I'll probably update y'all again next week after our appointment next week. And just go through mm -hmm. a few things because it's January 2022 and our babies are due this year. And we have to start buying stuff. I think I said last time we were going to start buying diapers like. Once every a once a week. Which we haven't done that yet. We haven't yet. done that yet, but we will start <laughs> we will, next we, week. Okay, we will. Week. We will yeah. for real. Yeah. We will. So. But thank y'all for watching, and and we hope that you can take some time out your day to send positive love to us and pray for us and pray that baby A and baby B continue to grow. Um, be specific in your prayers if you will, if you don't mind. We appreciate it, and we thank you guys. We love you guys. See you later. Take care.